In Shine, East Texas, you're watching KETK Today. And welcome back in. Here is a look at Tyler with our Sky View camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We are off to a quiet start this morning. It's a chilly one though once again, so have the jackets and sweaters handy. Temperature is 44 degrees with winds at 9 miles per hour. The dew point sitting at 29, so we've got plenty of dry air at the surface. Temperatures right now are sitting out in the middle and upper 40s across the Arc Latex and really temperatures around the region pretty chilly. A couple of degrees above freezing in Little Rock and only a degree above freezing for Oklahoma City and Wichita Falls and Amarillo as well. As we head throughout our day today, we are going to see those highs in the lower 60s this afternoon. So another cool day overall with a mix of clouds and sun. Now can't rule out a few isolated showers, but most of the day is going to be dry. Uh, there's going to be plenty of upper level moisture to squeeze out a shower, but at the surface the air is pretty dry, so a lot of that will uh, fizzle away before it makes it to the ground, but still can't rule out a shower or two uh, today. Now, now for Thursday, we have a much higher chance of rain. Rain is likely at this point, and we also have the chance for a few strong to severe thunderstorms. Our entire area under the standard slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center level two out of five, which just means a few strong to severe thunderstorms are possible on Thursday. So here's a look at what we have for Thursday with future casts. Again, we'll be mainly dry for the morning hours, but then showers and storms will fire up as we head into the afternoon. You can see the storms continuing out there. Uh, it's really heavy rain. I think is the biggest concern with this system as it moves on through because a lot of uh, areas will get multiple rounds of heavy rainfall and then eventually a line of thunderstorms will develop heading into Thursday evening and push through the area. Once it does so, temperatures cool off very quickly behind the cold front, and we're going to have a chilly day for Friday overall with a few showers lingering on into your Friday morning and maybe the early afternoon in deep east Texas. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to see uh, a warm up into tomorrow and Thursday, but then a significant cool down into the weekend. Now it's the last weekend of winter, and it will certainly be feeling like it Saturday and Sunday. Monday is the first day of spring, but it will be feeling nothing like spring with highs only in the middle 50s and a lot of cloud cover as well. So we won't even really have the sun to help warm us up on Monday either. So Monday, even though it's the first day of spring, it's going to feel like a classic January or February winter day. So be prepared for a big cool down for this weekend for deep east Texas. It is more of the same. Also a severe weather threat again uh, developing on Thursday. All right. Well, it sounds like we're going to have to be prepared to bundle up come <laughs> St. Patrick's Day and of course first day of spring. Yeah, this weekend is going to be pretty chilly. So if you have any outdoor activities planned, definitely want to have the jackets and sweaters. All right. And